Interesting. All right, we're going to game three, so we'll go ahead and get you into the match and recap it quick here. On Garrett's side of Four Color Rally, it's no creatures on the battlefield. That's got to be good for Todd, but six lands in play. For Todd, a Jace on two in play, and it looks like he's resolving a painful truth. Things going Jeskai Black's way as he draws Negate, Kalidus, and a fetch land. We're left to wonder what the contents of Garrett's graveyard are. Also, uh, though, the context of Todd's hand might make that a non-factor. Well, yeah, so Todd's going to go ahead and play another Jace and pluses Jace. He has the one-two punch of Kalidus and Radiant Flames for three on the same turn. Not to mention a negate. And it, so, so <laughs> yes, yeah, so he's got the rally covered. He's got Garrett playing to the board covered. This seems like it's, it's a win for Todd. Yeah, this just looks like an excellent position. Garrett plays Jace and passes. Todd fetching down to 10. The trick here, of course, with these slow Jeskai that Black builds is to make sure that you win the game in time. To that effect, he has one copy of Dragon Master Outcast in the deck. Yeah, and just the Cletus itself can make that pretty easy. Doesn't have, does he have mana? He's, he's one shy of casting Cletus and Radiant Flames and leaving up Negate this turn. Could have a spell to flashback just to kill the Jace in addition to playing the Cletus, though. This looks a lot like a dig through time. There we go. Six cards exiled away for Dig Through Time. All right. So I'm going to go on and say that Todd has this if he can win in time. Yeah, and I think that the Kalidus will make that relatively easily possible. He's got his choice between Roasts, Ojatai's Commands, and his backup Kalidus. There's he a Dispel in there as well, which would have him double covered on any instance in, uh, from Garrett. So it looks like Dispel is chosen, and... I don't know, maybe Ojatai's Command. That seems pretty nice right now. I kind of like Roast, just something to kill the Jace and still have a removal spell in your hand. Sure, I could go for that, too. All of these options are excellent. Todd's looking at the land. <laughs> mm, goes for Roast. Goes for Roast. Almost took the Ojatai's Command. Yeah. Just, command, sure. is, command is fine, but Garrett's creatures really don't have dramatic oh. impacts on the battlefield just from resolving. And we have a Chandra Flame Caller in hand as well for Todd, just, you know, in case the one Radiant Flames is not enough. Yeah, I think he'll be able to close. Jace is going to loot. He'll flip that second Jace into a walker in a second here. Going to discard the Radiant Flames. If you're a Rally player and you see your opponent discarding Radiant Flames, that's, um, oh boy, that's, that's great. <laughs> Well, Don't need that one to win this match. The writing has kind of been on the wall, but yeah. that's just one more thing. It's another Radiant Flame. So, Because we had one in hand. So Jace is taken care of. We go back to Garrett. His draw is a land. His hand is three lands. The other thing about that is Todd just minus Jace to target an instant of sorcery that he didn't flash back. Just to have a higher loyalty Jace. Show of, a show of strength, if you will. Yeah. That's, yeah. An, that's a strong <laughs> description of that. I, <laughs> I don't need this one. <laughs> put, it, put it in the bin. You're not loyal enough. You're fired. Well, I think it's actually what's going on here is that with three minutes, 40 seconds remaining, Todd actually needs that emblem. That could be as well. You know, he, he, his hand is flush with answers, but, but does not have a clock in it. I mean, he has a Kalidus, and that might be enough, but the mill seems... Especially with the amount of cantrips he has. If he gets that emblem, he can probably just win the next turn. Or two turns or something. Here's Chandra. Or, or, if we want a way to win, we could play this Planeswalker that wins really fast. No reason to mess around too much. Here's two three ones. They're swinging in. Garrett down to ten. And two turn clock is in place. Yeah, this one's not going to go to time. Not if Garrett can't answer that. His draw is Reflector Mage. Well, we can't negate that one, though it's not very good. We can roast it. We can also just attack into it and not really care. We can make it a 0-3 and swing some 3-1s into it. Yeah, or, or not bother and swing 3-1s into it either way. All right, he'll play the Reflector Mage. Todd draws another land. I like how he slow rolled his draw, as if it mattered at all. As if, as if Garrett could beat the board. Oh, really need something here. I only have five great cards in my hand. Check the graveyard. Just make sure you got it covered. Here's a pair of three ones. They're going to swing. Look at that. He's going to turn one eight. Now, if he pluses that Jace post combat. <laughs> come on, Todd. You just left value on the board. Standard oh, come, Todd, you're killing us. You're killing us. You just, 
<laughs> Threw away that token for nothing. <laughs> the token could have survived the combat and died at end of turn. And the post-combat Kalidus. No zombie off of that. This wow, just look at his loose plays all over by Todd Anderson. So loose. Uh, and there we go. Match for Todd in three. Defeats Garrett Young. And with Jeskai Black, Todd will move to 2-0. and oh. He would have to make significantly worse mistakes in order to <laughs> lose that game. <laughs> and... Uh, Indeed, didn't you know? We well, should just see that one play out some more this weekend for Todd. I assume he'll hit, he'll have to beat Rally again. Uh, by that point, though, it seemed like he had it unlock. Yeah, well, we said that he's probably very experienced against Siege Rhino. I'm sure that he's played a ton against Rally as well. Yeah, absolutely. So congratulations to Todd Anderson.